Hello, beautiful people. Hello, my graces of the world. My name is Ana Torres. Welcome to Ana K's Little Grim Book. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here today. So today I wanted to be talking a little bit about tea bags. If you are like me, you're obviously going to be one of those tea enthusiasts that wants tea all the time, uh, specifically green tea, but that's beside the point. Um, probably a lot of you have heard um, how it is a good substitute for coffee. You probably have heard of all like the great benefits that they can bring. And even if you haven't, we've all like heard about someone that actually like likes tea for different reasons. If it's either going to be to help them to go to sleep, to keep energized, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, according to Chinese legend, um, back in 2737 before Christ, that's when the history of tea, of tea began. It was actually, um, believe it or not, by mistake. It was um, back with the emperor. His name was Chen Nong. Um, hopefully I didn't butcher that name, but essentially when it came to him, he was a very skilled ruler. He was actually a scientist as well. And he was actually in a garden and in his garden, he was pretty much just boiling some water. And from that, um, there was an overhanging, um, just leaf. Um, it's what it was like wild, uh, tea tree or something like that. And that leaf actually ended up uh, falling into this uh, pot that he was boiling water on. But that's when he like started noticing how the smell was amazing. It was very pleasing. So he obviously wanted to investigate more. As that was happening, he decided to go ahead and try it. And believe it or not, that was the start of tea. Um, he actually decided to um, go ahead and call it Sha. Um, essentially, when it comes to that one, it's it's spelled C A M C H, and then apostrophe A. That actually had a meaning of like just checking or investigating, but it also had like a symbol of like how humans um get to just balance um with nature which is probably something that we have heard about too so there are so many types of different types of teas they are pretty amazing a lot of them and they all have different benefits they serve for different reasons um and a lot of those like uh, are pretty good um, essentially when it comes to that around the globe there's a lot of them but there is about four um, million tons of tea that are being um, just produced annually around the world and I mean tea is obviously better on like in its natural form just whenever it's pretty much just um, just pure from from it and just dehydrated and that's like pretty much loose leaf what we would call it and um there have been like there apparently when when it comes to like the processing if that's something that we do too much um it actually loses a lot of its properties um so that's something that we definitely don't want to do but just like with anything tree um tea farming um is actually kind of bad for the environment in depending on how it's actually being made but since it has been becoming such a big craze everyone is pretty much getting a lot into the the drinking of teas well this is, has been posing a, an interesting issue on on the environment as an overall um so essentially when it comes to just being able to produce those four million tons it obviously seems like this little things that we use very little amount of wouldn't cost as much uh, of what it's actually costing right now the main reason is because they do need to have this big amount of um, land in order to pretty much be able to to grow those. And 
as that specific demand keeps increasing, there's more need for, for that. So whenever it comes to just like tea uh, farming, when it comes to just being able to grow it, because of the amount that needs to be produced, it doesn't go wild. So there's a lot of like less amount that it's actually being um, gathered on a like yearly basis. Um, so essentially what that means is that a lot more fertilizers are going to, to be used just because the, the soil is needing more of those nutrients. And also just making sure that they are using pesticides because they need to just make sure that um, they, they don't get uh, any type of um, parasites around the actual like um, the, 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 the trees or where the plant it's actually like coming from. So as we need more of those production, that means more land, it's growing a lot less and hence we're using even more fertilizers and we're using more chemicals in order to grow them. That just means essentially that we are letting that soil get a lot more degradation. And not only that, chemicals are actually getting into uh, our waterways because those chemicals are running off. So they are actually getting into the waterways as well. So when it comes to that, I mean, what can you do in order to like better consume, right? Because I mean, another issue that we actually have is the packaging. Um, when it comes to different teas, um, it, it comes differently. Most people try to make sure that that bag is going to last enough as we are dipping it on water. So there's so many ways that um, this is happening, but unfortunately for us, like the fact that it's being packaged, that means that some of them actually are going to include polypro piling which is as a form of plastic what is that <laughs> or what is that like bringing into us well i mean whenever we are doing tea we do tend to have um, boiling water which means that specific tea bag it's actually making uh or just pretty much releasing some of that plastic into our tea and we are drinking it so that's not the only way um, that this is actually creating an issue. Um, there's also like a lot of what we would call waste. Um, there's, I mean, they don't seem big, right? They, they're they just little things, but they're attached to uh, some type of ribbon or carton. And it has like the little like paper on the, the outer side so you can come on and dip it. Well, that means that we are creating more waste and all of that is like ending in our landfills and in our oceans. Um, so when it comes to that, just keep in mind that there's millions of bags that are being used every single day. So if we are consuming that much, it is going out, like a lot of it is going into those waterways. But, um, I mean, it's not only the fact that a lot of them say that it's made of paper or anything in that respect. Also, keep in mind that um, there's a lot of glues that are used to it. If it's not glue, it's going to be um, just like staples. And um, a lot of them actually do include a lot of different types of plastics. And since this is not really regulated, there's not really a good way of, of kind of like knowing a lot of it. According to research, a lot of those um, that say that they are bio biodegradable, they're not fully. Um, they are actually like 70 to 80% uh, complete biodegradable, but all that 20 to 30% of it, it's actually plastic. So it's not being able to degrade essentially in our landfills or in our oceans. So what is going to be a greater way of pretty much 
just being able to consume the right way. As I mentioned before, when it comes to tea, it's better when it comes in its original form, it's the most natural, and it's going to be um, giving you the most of the nutrients that it's actually coming from. So most of them is going to be loose leaf. Um, you can find a lot of them. Um, I would normally recommend to try to cut on any type of transportation. So ordering is not the best, but if there's no local providers, um, that's definitely one of the ways that you can go for. Um, obviously, I would always say make sure that you are um, being very supportive of, of your local um providers if you can try to to just buy a lot of it in bulk because there's so many things that can be done and also make sure that well you are making sure that if you are consuming any local they usually tend to partner with those that are actually growing it locally or they are growing it themselves so that's something that I would definitely want to keep in mind there's so many ways that you can go about it. Um, this was actually given to me years ago and I still have it. This is just loose leaf. I love jasmine. It's jasmine black tea. Um, you can see it right in here. And again, it literally comes in the form of dried leaves. And you can just go ahead and use all of those different ones that you can actually get. Make sure that they are BPA free. Um, that it's not pretty much um, getting all that plastic or getting those molecules into your tea. It is being boiled. There's a new one that I'm loving and it's, and it's local here in El Paso. It's Inanas Delight. They have amazing blends. So if you can actually go ahead and, and look at them in, in Instagram. Um, this one is made with cawthorn, chamomile, Astra, nettle, and rose hips. I'm in love with this one. I, I can't get enough of it. But there's also other ones that are like literally being made locally. This one I actually bought in Rideau. So this is more like for sleeping. Obviously, it's going to be having chamomile as well. I've been very stressed. So that's why I'm buying a lot of these. And again, it's loose leaf. You can just put it in any of your um, containers and then just dip it in. Um, I did want to like talk about those that you can actually buy. Um, dandelion leaf and root is actually very good for you. So that's one of the reasons why I, I got this one when I got COVID because I wanted to get better a lot faster, obviously. But in here, it actually tells you uh, a little bit more how if like you do buy some of them, make sure that you're reading again it, this is not regulated, so it doesn't mean it's entirely true. But for this one, it says reduce, um, reuse, recycle. So it's a hundred percent recycled carton and at least thirty-five percent verified post customer waste. Um, and then just it tells you a hundred percent renewable energy. This product is manufacturing manufactured using a mix of renewable energy, including solar. Solar is always good. I mean, it's right there for us. And then um, the, the bags are actually compostable. So great opportunities in here. Um, if you do choose to kind of like do something um, that's not local because you don't have any providers, I mean, you can find them anywhere, um, but there's so many options. And nowadays there's so many providers that are actually really good and specifically uh, locally. So try to go that route. Let's let's pretty much support all of, of those providers here in El Paso. We also have TBTs, which they are amazing as well. So just find whatever fits with you. Again, try to just do, do those little transitions. This seems to be a good one, especially if you like tea or if you want to drink a little less coffee, great opportunity. So hopefully you like this one. Um, if you do have any questions, please reach out to me. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.